greetings. So, you know, in the past I've made some videos on nesting hypervisors to allow for multiple Hyper-V hosts, but I'm doing some coursework now that only requires one Hyper-V host, and I wanted to look into a way to make this work for my laptop. So, Harold Wong has a really good blog on how to boot from VHD, and uh, that seems like a good opportunity to dual boot from a VHD, and uh, the, re the reason I'd like to go through the trouble of dual booting is I often find that server uh, grade operating systems don't work well as workstations uh, simply because you might have tools like Acronis or Antivirus and that in that addition you'd have to spend a lot of money to then pay for enterprise grade applications. So why not dual boot from a VHD? All right, so let's kind of go through this right up a little bit. So here we have a link to ImageX, which is one of the tools that you're going to need to make this happen. So let's go ahead and save ImageX. And we'll go ahead and copy this to the C drive. Now the next step is to go ahead and copy DVD file and while that takes place let's go ahead and go to disk management. Let's create a VHD and call it whatever you want. And I want to go ahead and I'm going to use VHDX and dynamically expand it. And let's just say 100 gigs. So now we have our VHD. We're going to go ahead and initialize it as a master boot record. And then we are going to do a new simple volume and format the drive. All right, so we now, we now have our new volume. And we also have our ISO. So we're going to move the image X into the extracted ISO. And actually, let's go and put it in the sources folder. And we're going to shift right click and open command prompt there. So the next step is to open a command prompt in administrative mode. Move into our sources. All right, so while that's finishing up, let's go ahead and get the name of our VHD. All right, so that completed successfully. So now we want to go ahead and also take note of the drive letter. So that was E, I believe. So we've got E. And then what we're going to do is type in BCD boot. E Windows. All right. So now we should be able to restart this computer.
and there we go. So now we have our Windows Server 2012 image. So I feel like running Hyper-V hosts within a VHD could add some agility if you had a couple machines, for instance, and you just, you basically make the VHD large enough and install all your, your um, guest servers within it, you could really do a good job of moving that host uh, with this process, uh, backing up the host and things like that, uh, which I might play with later. Uh, and just in closing, we probably want to look at a scenario to where what if we do move this VHD to another machine and we no longer want to see it on the boot menu. So if we go to msconfig, you'll see here that we've got Windows Server 2012 and what we should be able to do is just simply delete that and restart. And there you have it. We just boot right into Windows 8. Um, now I've done this uh, just for the purpose of, of shooting the video in within a VM, but um, this this works great with uh, physical machines as well. So uh, that concludes our demonstration.